Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, I am glad you are doing the work necessary to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. And that fact, that work that you're doing by hitting play on your podcast player is part of what we're talking about today. You see, in 2 Peter chapter 1, we are told to make every effort to supplement our faith with certain things. The first that we looked at yesterday was virtue. Today, we're going to be looking at the concept or the characteristic of knowledge. But before we get there, let me ask you a question. If I were to send you an email and you were to receive that email, what is the means by which you receive that email? Now, you could say a lot of answers that would be correct in this case. You could say your computer or your phone. Or you could go a little deeper and say the software that you're using. Or you could go still a bit deeper and you could say Google or Yahoo or AOL Mail or Microsoft Mail, whatever it is you're using as your email host provider. You see, all of those are indeed means by which you receive my message. You see, it's not only about the one who sent the message is not only about the one who received. There's a lot of means in between that cause that message to be delivered. The reason I'm talking about email is because I want us to have in our minds this idea of various means bringing about certain things. Because we talk often about God doing things in our lives and we hope and pray for him to do certain things in our lives. Amen. We want God actively at work in our lives. But there are means by which he does some of those things. And the fact that he uses various means to bring them about does not lessen the fact that he did them. Just like the fact that you receive my email by all these different means does not detract from the fact that I am the one who sent you the email. You see, so when God through Peter tells us to make every effort to supplement our faith with certain things. Let's think about what is the means here. The means by which God is bringing these things about in our lives is our effort. And you see, we are on the hook to do that. But we do it by faith. You see, because he says, make every effort to supplement your faith. So to put these alongside your faith and through your faith to bring these things about. The first was virtue. The next is knowledge. Peter says to add knowledge to your faith. You see, faith really doesn't operate without knowledge because faith is trusting in something rather than just wishful thinking. You see, we're looking at the truths of what Jesus has done for us and relying on those. That's what faith is. And so faith really can't operate apart from knowledge because you have to have faith in something. And that knowledge of what you're having faith in needs to be true. Now, in the case of what Jesus has done for us, it is as true as the day is long. In fact, even truer than the day is long. Jesus died. He rose. He provides his Holy Spirit to us to live in us and through us. It's glorious truth that's been provided for us to understand. And we are to add to our faith more knowledge of those things. We are to dig into the scriptures as we do here on the Morning Mindset and understand it more deeply. Why? Not just to cram our heads full of more information, but to apply it to our faith. You see, what we're doing is we're giving our faith fuel to run on. We're giving our belief more to believe, if you want to think of it that way. My friends, this is powerful stuff when you understand you by your hard work at understanding the word of God are the means by which Jesus equips you to live a more godly life. It's the means by which the things that he's given us for life and godliness come online in our lives and actually produce fruit. My friends, I pray for you today that you will apply the knowledge you already have of Jesus Christ in ways that bring about the virtue and godliness that he intends to come out of your life. And I pray you do that today. Join me again tomorrow.